Hello, my name is Christian Ramirez, web developer for Wave Communications, and today we're going to learn how to upload a special section onto ESU to use on our website. Let's go ahead and log in. As soon as we log in, we want to go to Upload Document, the top right corner, and let's browse for a document or a PDF. So we're going to give the special section a title. And a description. Web name, an address. This is actual the actual address where you could find the the special section within ISU. So we want to name this something um, that's similar to what the, the special section is about. We're going to add a key, some keywords here. A link to your website. In our case, I'm using IberiaNet.com for a tutorial. Select type or newspaper. Child safe, yes. Category. Put this under travel and events. Language, English. Target area, North America. Upload file. We finally hit upload file and let it upload. This only takes about a few seconds, 10 seconds or so, depending on the file size, of course. Great, so what's going to happen here, um, once the file finishes uploading, it'll... Um, redirect you to this page here which is which it'll be converting it into a into a into web format so um, this is called your library um, this is where you can find all the documents that you upload each paper can have their own folder here where they could keep their publication for example there's frontiersman this folder um, this is um, observatories folder with their PDFs New Iberia um, the Gasser National and this is where we also upload the eagle. Okay, let's go to converting. Check how that's doing. It's still converting. I'll take a few minutes, depending on file size, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in into um, the Town News backend, which would be um, domain.com slash question mark admin. In this case, iberianet.com slash question mark admin and let's go into oops not import but adsys and in adsys um, what we're going to do is we're going to treat the special section like a pdf so um, we're going to treat the special section as a as a as an ad apologize for that um, let's go ahead and create a new ad and what we're going to do we're going to specify that it's a special section, so these special sections will get um, <clears throat> lost with all your ads, so you know what this is. And so this is a wedding guide tutorial. Um, and we're going to choose text ad because we're going to copy code into there, which is going to be some HTML and whatnot. So let's go ahead and create the ad. Let's keep this opened. We're going to copy our code onto there. So the file finished converting itself. So now we're going to um, go to the published folder and we're going to drag our wedding guide tutorial. It's one of these. It's probably this one here. Yes, it is. Um, to the New Iberia section since it's um, this is the New Iberia publication. We're going to um, select the file by clicking it once. And we're going to um, click on embed. So here you have other options. You can move the, 
the file over to another folder, share it with people. You could edit the settings or, or the description, the title. You could delete it from here or distribute through here. Check statistics and um, copy the link over to send it to somebody or whatever. Um, we have other options here as so download and, and find video tutorials on how to use ISU. Um, let's go ahead and click on embed because um, we're gonna we're going to embed this to our website. So the next step is to actually um, customize this, and um, you could actually include a link to the other pub to to the open publication below the embedding, um, which is um, a link to the to the PDF itself under the the little thumbnail. I will show flip buttons. Um, I'll get to that later. But um, under layout, um, we will just want to display the cover, so we're going to choose single page. You could also choose um, two up. That be like this. It'll be like the spread um, or a single page continuous, which will um, flip from bottom to top. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to choose single page. Then um, we're going to customize the size. You could choose um, some different sizes here, like 300 pixels width, 420, 600, or you could customize yours to whatever you're liking is or, or how best it's going to fit on your website. And um, we're going to choose color background. You could also choose these these other backgrounds below here. I'm going to choose white since our background is going to be white. Um, you could choose for the pages to be auto-flipping. Um, you could also choose it to um, choose any of the pages so when your website loads, it'll um, the PDF or the, or the special section will load it from page 5, for example. But we want to start from page one, so we'll leave that to that. And um, we'll finally do that. Um, we copy our code. And then the next step would be copying that code over onto some text editing software, kind of like Notepad. And we're actually going to delete a few things from here. Um, the, the stuff you want to, the code you want to delete is actually two links that you don't really need. Um, that's that's that appears right next to your um, special section. So, if you see here, um, you'll see two divs. These are called divs. Um, we want to leave these alone. We want to copy everything that's before those two divs, all the way over to publication where this dash is right here. So you'll always copy all that. So you'll see something. This is going to be for like all the special sections that you upload using ISU. Um, you'll see this dash here, and it'll say free. So this is an indication to where you want to start deleting. And you're always going to um, highlight all the way to where you see the two DIVs. So just remember, dash, free, and before the two DIVs that you see right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. That's all we have to delete. Go ahead and copy that code. Let's close that. And let's close this window. Let's go to Adsys again. And let's copy our code there. Okay, so now that we've copied our code, let's go ahead and save changes. Let's, let's choose a position for it. And um, what we've done here, we've actually created some positions for you um, where you're going to be able to, to um, place your special sections. Um, we have, for IberiaNet, we have um, special section 1, position, of course, position, special section 2, position, special section 3, um, special section 4, and so on. So um, on their website, they've actually got six special sections up right now. So what we want to do, um, we want to choose seventh position. Which would go under um, under all those all those other ones. I'll actually show you right now. Let's just assign it since it's, it's the seventh um, special section on their site. Let's go ahead and publish this. So we publish it like we do any other ad. Let's close out of that. Let's give it a refresh. And voila, there she is. So um, this is how you add a special section 
onto your website using Hetsis and using ISU. If you have any other questions, you can reach me at christian.ramirez at Wood Communications. That is christian.ramirez at Wood Communications. Thank you.